Okay, question 14. Great question on discussing um, underabsorption and overabsorption. Let's look at the story here. We have um, branded drug own label. So branded products and own label products, um, profit centers recover their overheads on a machine hour basis, on a machine hour basis. So what do we have? Um, branded products have budgeted overheads of, of five, well, 5.99232, while own label um, have these overheads. And this, I felt they could just have told us was quarterly, but you know that's fine. We know it is. Um, the budgeted number of machine hours are so. So we know this is the budget overhead, and this is the budget number of hours. So we can find this assumed, predetermined fixed overhead absorption rate for each of them. So that's I should probably use different colors just to make it because the numbers are not exactly the prettiest, but they do end up being quite fair in terms of when you look at it. So those there, and I'm just going to change this to blue. And then you have this, and you have this. So I can find the rate per hour, which is literally the 5997232 divided by 187414. Look at me trying to be all color-coded, and I use different colors, the opposite. So just changing that to 5997232 divided by the 187414. And then I'm going to change this back again to the 2844968 divided by the 118540. And I can find that. So divide these, and that gives you what they're. Um, and when you divide this one, you get 24 pounds. And when you divide <clears throat> this one, you get 32 pounds. So this is what your, if you watched my previous question, what your computer has said, listen, every machine hour, we will put in the accounts 32 pounds. That's what, that's what, so you will do your accounting as normal and wait to see what actually happens. I'll repeat that. You will do your accounting as normal and wait to see what actually happens. So you actually put in machine hours going into the system. So you're going to go 48,000 times 32 that's what you're going to do you're going to go debit so i can almost i feel like i can cut this out to kind of explain what's happening from here now i'll just take a snippet from here and, and snip this out um get rid of this no i want you to save that snip it quickly let's do this quickly um here we are let's just snip at this whole thing out here Okay, so we can give ourselves a bit of space. And so what I can what I'm saying here is this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go well debit the branded fixed overheads, branded ex products, forty eight thousand times thirty two. So forty eight thousand times thirty two brings me forty eight thousand times thirty two brings me to a hundred and fifty three one sorry one five three six zero 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 and credit the accrual one five three six zero 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 now the, the question tells us that i mean you can see it here the overhead absorbed what you've put into your system is one five three six zero 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 the overhead actually incurred was one five oh six zero 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 so um you have put in too much right you've put in too much this is what actually happened 1506 so you've over absorbed by the difference of course which is 30,000 you know you've put in too much so you've over absorbed by 30 30,000 over absorbed it's too much in there um so in terms of your journal entry well what you're really what you're really trying to do is to bring that down so really i should be Debiting my accrual with thirty thousand, and crediting my um, fixed overhead absorption in the income statement, basically, um, with thirty thousand. Yes. So, um, so yeah. I mean, in terms of so, I, I am actually debiting my overhead control account given that this is my um, um my overhead control account given that this is my accrual account right this is an accrual account i debit that with thirty thousand. that's what i would do and um 
credit my complete the following table to show the journal entries um, in quarter one. So I've done the journals. I'm just trying to see. I have three tables here. Interesting. Um, just trying to see where they're going with this. And the and credit the um, overhead absorbed of 30,000. It's just sort of the, the best way I can sort of think about this table. Um, it just looks a little bit, oh, sorry, unless this is a heading. But, you, you know, you can only have, you're just putting in 30,000. Um, yeah, let me just go to the answer and see how they've decided to represent this. Oh, right. Okay, right. So they're putting in the so you right okay so okay so what they're saying here is that we have absorbed yes we have absorbed um we did the we, our journal my journaling has been slightly different so what happened was that's the one five three six that you initially put in and then we credit an accrual so this is what really happens right day to day that's what you would have done then you would come back and you would just adjust this journal with thirty thousand right but uh, looking at this you have um yeah so this is the same account this is the same account the same income statement account in effect so they're just not showing the other thirty thousand. well not that they're just not showing it but really and truly this is the kind of because this is your liability in the end isn't it the the, the one five oh six is what should be so in the end what you're going to have right this is the same thing so in the end you're going to have one five oh six zero 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 income statement which is what you should have, and um, 1506 um, control account or accrual, whatever you want to call it. Cool. Great stuff. Great stuff.